Welcome to Code Slate. In this lesson, we will see how to change the scenarios by using data from from the response of the first request into the second request. A typical scenario can be something like this. Like we will perform a login, get the token from the login and then use that token to perform subsequent operation. So here I will not be using any new request. We will be reusing the existing request that is create employee which is a post operation and get employee which is a get operation. So I will be combining these two or chaining these two operations to execute my use case. So let's start creating a new performance test we'll call it as a create and create and get employee So here we will be in this class we will be chaining the get post as well as get operation. So now I create scenario get create and and get scenario. So here I will be performing create employee and then get the employee ID of the newly created employee and use that employee ID to perform get employee. So to, to achieve this I am storing the or I am caching the employee ID from create employee. Let me show you. So here when I get 200 status. I will parse the JSON, get the ID and store it as an employee ID. Same ID I will be using in my get operation here. So this is how we change the scenarios. Now this is ready. The operation is ready. Um, now we will update the build.gradle to use a new task we will use a new task called create and get employee performance test so see here this is the test i am going to run and this is my this is my task so let's start first i'll start my application once application is started i will execute the performance test yeah application is ready and this is the gradle clean i'm in the performance directory and then this is a create and get employee performance test this is a task this is a task i'm running It's compiling. Yeah, looks like all good. And then now it will, what it will do, it will perform the create employee, get the employee ID, and then use that. See here, create employee, and then get employee by ID. So we can also see the logs of the our application. 
first it creates a new employee called employee one with employee id 1006 so same employee id will be supplied to the get employee to get the employee so going up back to our code so here the employee we create an employee and then use the response pass the response body of the create employee use the employee id to perform the get employee so rest all is nothing change compared to other um, performance test so th this is how we change the request or use the response of one operation in the in performing the request of the subsequent operation so let me see whether my test case is done looks like our test is done let's see the test report yeah so this is test is done and then there are two operations one six of the create employee and six of the get employees this is how i changed as i changed get create employee and get employee so these are some of the metrics from our performance run that's it from this lesson thanks for listening see you in the next lesson